what is up? Um, today I am going to be doing a video that might people might think is I'm trying to be offensive. Might be offensive? Whoa, Trisha, you got like 85,000 dislikes on this video. Sounds like a lot of people found this video to be offensive. Yikes. Ayo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Keed. I hope you guys are all having an incredible day today. I know I am because I actually just won a free seven-day cruise to Hawaii. And guess what? You guys get to come along, too. All you have to do is like this video, and you will actually get two free tickets to a Hawaiian cruise shipped directly to your mail. I know it sounds crazy, but just like the video and be amazing as a cruise ticket magically appears in your hand straight out of thin air. Pretty crazy, huh? Anyways, today I was searching on YouTube when I got this video recommended to me from Trisha Paytas titled, I am transgender, female to male. Now from right off the bat, I was pretty confused because I don't remember Trisha Paytas ever being a boy. All I remember from Trisha Paytas is this, to be honest. I'm going to be doing the 100 layers of cum challenge. And there it is. Oh God, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. Okay. Um, yeah. So, like, there's no way she would upload a worse video than that. Or maybe she just did. So, you guys, let's step right into the crazy life of Trisha Paytas and see why she has decided to become a male. Yeah, I want to talk about this because it's something that I actually have felt for a long time. I didn't feel like I identified as a girl. Now this seems like crazy and weird and shocking because I was born a f female um, and I, I'm i ultra girly now. I'm very like, I'm very girly. I identify with men better. I always, people always think like there's something wrong with me because I don't have like that many girlfriends. Like I love girls, like I do love girls and I love like, I love like their sensitivity and all that stuff like that. But that's why I identify more as like a gay man because I like guys, but I also identify as a guy. So Trisha came to the instant conclusion that she's a gay man simply because she doesn't like certain people. How does that even make sense? Like just because you hang out with people opposite gender doesn't mean you have to be that gender too. Like I'm just friends with a few girls and that doesn't mean that I'm a transgender. Like I'm not going to go out and become a girl just so I could be like a few of my friends. The logic here is just so spontaneous and just flat out stupid. Like really? You're a guy because you have guy friends? Yeah. Okay, Trisha. The the thing that kind of like stops it is I do love, which a lot of gay men do too, I do love like glam and voluptuousness. So in my head, I feel like I'm a transgender female to male, but also like a drag queen. A transgender female to male gay man who is also a drag queen. What? I mean, I don't judge people for what they want to do. Like, if you want to go out and be a bowl of SpaghettiOs, then go do that. I, I could care less. But I just don't see how Trisha has come to the conclusion that she's a gay male drag queen transgender just based off of her interests in girly things and being friends with guys. Like, she's basically saying, I'm a girl who became a guy because I'm friends with other dudes, but I also want to still be a girl and like guys, so I'm just gonna also be gay so then I could still be like what I am, but also be a guy. And I don't want to change my appearance at all, so like, I'm a drag queen. Like, what? Man, oh man, does my head hurt just thinking about this. Okay, let me just tell you why I identify as a boy more so, and from an early age. I don't like to be center of attention, except when I want to be center of attention. So, like, okay, think of, like, a drag queen, white, right? They do, like, their full glam and everything, but in their day-to-day, -day, they're not. They're very, like, low-key, whatever. That's kind of me. Like, when I want to put on a show, I put on the hair, I put on the makeup, I put on the outfits. But if you guys know me on this channel or my second channel or just in life, I never wear hair or makeup like in my day to day. I usually look crazy. Like watch my second channel. I look insane. Like as far as like girliness goes, like I just never wear makeup. Like, oh my God, if I have like zits on my face, like they just like let them go. Like, and, um, and so I've always just kind of related to guys on that level. Yeah, because having zits on your face and not wearing makeup makes you a male. That's how that works. If you're watching this and you're a female and you have a pimple on your face, guess what? You're no longer a female. You are now a male. Sorry to break it to you, but it just is what it is. So like the logic here is if a doctor is delivering a baby and they realize it's a female baby, but then they see a pimple on its forehead, they're just like, nah, this one's a male because it has a zit on its head. Like, please tell me how that makes any sense whatsoever. And I've always just been attracted to guys, but not straight guys. I've always been attracted to gay guys. So that's why I've like always thought I like maybe I'm a gay man. So the whole transgender 
community has always like called to me for some reason and I don't and I never knew why I'm like well if you guys I'm not like I don't go out and advocate for it although I would be so down and I and I and I love obviously I love the transgender community so like I should be the advocate for it if Trisha was an advocate for the transgender community I'd honestly feel so bad for everyone involved in that community like imagine this being the quote-unquote face of transgenders I would be so embarrassed to be a part of that community if I was a transgender like you're actually crazy Trisha get a grip but what was always stopping me was like I always thought oh my gosh am I trans and I know like I know I did like trolled and stuff in the past and so I don't want people to think this is like a trolling video I've known like I've like come out as like gay before I've come out as bisexual before and that's kind of why I have issues in general with just terms in general and labels in general like male female gay straight but because I don't know if I would say I'm confused I would say I'm all of it. Alright guys, so get a good look of this list of all the classified sexualities. There's literally hundreds of them. Alright, if you guys are trying to figure out which one of these sexualities Trisha Paytas is, guess what? She's literally all of them. She is every single sexuality known to mankind. Just take the definition of all of them, smash them together, and you get Trisha Paytas. Trisha is basically God at this point. Like, Trisha is setting herself out to actually be a god. Like, she's literally claiming to be everything at once. Like, I don't know if this is a midlife crisis or what, but I think it's more important to be open and I'm not saying the world needs to be open I'm saying with me in my mind. I need to be open and while my name is Trish like I never really identified with that name I've always actually hated the name Trish and for some reason I never liked it But I just realized now because it's such a it's a, it's a female name and I don't really identify as female Do I fully identify as male? I don't know. Well now this past week I had the a boy societal boy haircut which is like short and I've never felt more freer and liberated in my life I wasn't getting looks from gross straight men I could just literally roll out of bed and just go and I felt free and I felt happy I felt really happy I didn't have to worry about hair or my body so much I know guys are like into their bodies and stuff like that but I didn't feel that way as a boy I felt like oh I'm really really free of myself and my body and um while I did have like new boobs in my butt, I felt like a thick boy and I kind of like love being a thick boy. Okay, so now she's saying that the thing that finally made her decide she was a matter of fact a guy was because she got her hair cut short. This is so stupid. Just because you got a haircut, you all of a sudden just feel like you're a guy. I don't think that that's how this works at all. I know it kind of sounds crazy and I'm sure people think I'm crazy, but I just, I felt it. And like, you'll see in the vlogs, I have a lot of footage. I felt happy and I felt like just, it was, I was just feeling it more so than I've ever felt glam or anything and I think it honestly is just a feeling and I don't want people to like be offended I don't want trans I don't want trans to be offended or gay or straight or whatever but I think I'm like mocking this or I'm confused and I know that's such a misconception that transgender people are confused and it's not that I'm confused it's that I identify as both I just don't necessarily like the term they or them so do I think I'm transgender Yes, a thousand percent. I'm not confused, but I got a haircut and was friends with guys, so I think I'm 1,000% a transgender, no doubt whatsoever. I am a transgender gay male drag queen. Do I identify with my natural born gender? A thousand percent. So I think that's where I'm at, and I feel really free and liberated, and I wanted to talk about this because I think it's important that you can identify as masculine and feminine. You can identify as male and female if you choose. I've never loved being a female. I've never been so excited about being a female. I love the attention I get when I'm glammed and dolled up, but let's be real, I'm basically a drag queen. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a show, I am a smoke show. I get my hair and makeup done, and I am someone completely different when I have that masculine male energy in me with the short hair, with the pants, with my boobs strapped down more, with not getting that attention from straight men. I felt myself and I felt so freaking happy. And that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. Like I identify as a boy a lot of times. I, when I don't wear hair and makeup, I don't care about critiques of like, you look disgusting, you look this, you look that. Like, I'm I'm free. I'm a free person. Okay, but like, the only reason you're saying you're a male is because you don't like to wear makeup and you don't care how you look. Like, this is not a reason whatsoever. Like, I'm not trying to judge or discriminate against anyone here, but like, I just believe what she's saying is just rude and offensive to people who actually are transgender. Like, you're painting a fully different picture of why people are trans than the actual reason that they are. Not to say you have to change it and call me T. I like the name T because like th I think that's a very like generic and both gender name. But I mean, I'm Trish. I'm Trish. That's what it is. That's my born name and stuff like that. But 
I don't know. I think you can be any gender you want to be. I don't think you have to decide what gender you are. I don't think you have to announce what gender you are. I think we can be a transgender person without having the judgment of, oh, you're not trans enough. You're not transitioning enough. You're not passable. You're not undetectable. Like that kind of stuff. Okay, whatever. Honestly, I no longer care about what Trisha Paytas has to say. Like, I really don't care what you think you are, to be honest. I just believe that your reasonings are freaking stupid. And that's just my opinion. Once again, I'm not trying to send any hate over to anyone, but Trisha just needs to leave the internet. Like she needs to get out of here. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for this video. I did just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. It really does help me out a lot. Don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with another video peace out yeah pete has a d to keep it real swallow the pill show me the thrill follow the dream to keep it silly grind on the daily just to stay up late money is great but the fans are what makes it okay he wants a smile on your face never see a frown and on the rainy days he'll keep on grinding till he makes his place in the world full